What's up, motherfuckers? I have problems. Oh, Gordon, you're still in the way. Yeah, get. Um. Yeah, I guess we're gonna take a look at Emily now. Honestly, I. I I hope the best for this model. I. Because now, with Emily, I finally have something to compare her with. Because I have her push-along model over here. At the same time, I really just hope it does well. Um, so yeah, let's get into this. So, here she is. Honestly, it does roll. Holy shit. Ah. So the downside about Emily is that Emily has a metal, a metal, uh, drill bit there that you have to drill out yourself in order to get Emily apart. You can easily replace that with a screw though, which is nice. And I think that's just solely for the middle section. I'm not too sure. These little, the, the big wheel moves. I didn't think it would, but just look at her. She's got cut out cab windows. Hmm. And then here's her little tender. We didn't really take a look at Gordon's tender, honestly, because it's the same thing as James's, and we'll get into that when we get there. There's a little knob on the back of it for a tail lamp. I think that's what that is. I'm not too sure. Now, we do also have her push-along model to compare her next to. So roughly, obviously, all engines go Emily is much larger. I was going to give them the benefit of the doubt that they were the same size, but no. They are actually two totally different sizes. And the one Emily has a slightly open cab and the other one doesn't. Granted. This one has more pronounced cab features than the other one does. And with this version of Emily, Emily's number 12 is painted on her tender. I don't have the version of the new Emily tender with for the Adventures models. Well, not the Adventures models, the uh, Trackmaster push-along models. I don't have the updated features. I think they should have added like a water filler cap there, but that's just my opinion. I like Emily's new tender. It looks pretty good, actually. It's just um, it's so tiny in the wheels. And the chassis are far apart. I don't understand how they did this. The tender looks... It looks good with the original Emily. As well as this Emily. The tender looks good for both models, honestly. spins. Honestly, they did a stupendous job with these models. They look really good. So, honestly, I think I'm going to have to keep buying them. I bought, I bought James and Mary and Gordon so far. I need to buy the engines and then Harley Sandy. I don't think that's it. Yeah. And then Bruno whenever he releases here at States. But yeah, 
and probably a Shima would have really work. Um, these are just short little reviews, honestly. Just trying to get them out there. I've got them in the beginning of the video, you see. Um, I will probably see the big video before these videos. I'll have to link them. These models ended up being really good. I'm really impressed with them. Alright, I'll see you in the next one. Next time, take a look.